I was born and raised in San Mateo County. I've lived here my entire life. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was younger, but I knew that I wanted to help people. There was the high school career day and emergency responders were giving presentations. And I felt the fire service was the ultimate way that one could help someone. In college, there was a course in fire prevention, utilizing what we've learned by others who have experienced fire to help people increase their fire safe awareness. That really interested me. Fire can happen to anyone. It doesn't care who you are or where you live. It will take any opportunity that we give it. We need to reduce those opportunities. In order to understand how to prevent fires, you need to understand how fires start. Reviewing the evidence that's on scene and looking at the burn patterns and speaking to witnesses and then developing an opinion about how and where a fire started. Across the state, across the country, we're having an increased need for housing and we're building in areas that haven't been built on before. You have increased fire risks, whether that's based on a drought condition, or whether that's based on density. Sadly, we experienced the news and saw fires that were happening around us in the state. It highlighted that we don't want the same devastation to happen in Hillsboro. There's challenges across this state that we have no control over. There are some things that we do have various levels of control over. Climate change is happening. We need to adapt. There's a lot of dynamics that happen when you have almost three quarters of your town included in a wildland urban interface area. And there are many communities in the Bay Area that have this same kind of condition. Many homes in Hillsboro have acres, and the defensible space can be quite large. There's a lot of steep hills in Hillsboro, and they come in conjunction often with Hillsboro's open space. Part of prevention is changing someone's behavior. It isn't always about enforcement. It isn't always about telling someone what they need to do. It is how can someone be part of the solution? If there was a fire that were to happen low to the ground, then we want to break that ladder. So we want to have clearance in between the lower vegetation to the taller vegetation. And that's exactly what you've done here. You've broken the ladder fuel, uh -huh. right? So you don't have a lot of vegetation that is low to the ground. Um, you're retaining the hillside, but you've limbed up. Yeah. So if a fire does happen closer to the ground, then it's not going to catch the trees. We prepared written materials that we sent out to every property. We held community meetings. The town of Hillsborough has the Hillsborough Neighborhood Network, a resident-based organization that works towards disaster preparedness and resiliency. We started our first year in 2021, and we already see changes in the mindset and the actions of our residents, reducing wildfire risk on their property and in their neighborhoods. We're in the second year of our WUI inspection program and we're building upon the lessons that we learned from the first year as far as what additional information the residents needed in order to be successful. The town was really interested in collaborating with us to get this going to make it safe for all the citizens here. A lot of the private residences have gotten cleaned up, brush has been trimmed back, trees have been limbed up, people are engaged. So we're standing in one of the town of Hillsboro's open space preserves. When this was left untreated years ago, there was a lot of highly flammable brush that was solid across the area. So what the treatment has done is they have removed some of that flammable vegetation, created more natural breaks to reduce the density of the vegetation. The successes that we have already seen with the Hillsboro Wildland Urban Interface Inspection Program is an example of residents taking the education that we've given them and being committed to doing their part. The residents, the town of Hillsboro, Central County Fire Department, we're all neighbors 
And this is about neighbors helping neighbors. We can maintain the beauty that we have in Hillsboro while still reducing the wildfire risk. What drives a lot of us in this prevention is to keep our community safe and to do whatever we can to meet that objective. And I absolutely see that in Christine. Christine is a great arm of bringing everyone together. Got lots of good ideas. Since the first day of my career, my goal has always been to leave somewhere safer than it was when I got there.